Hi guys, my name is Claire Terry Williger and my project is called A Dog's Nose. What scents are most appealing? The purpose of this project was to figure out what types of scents attract a dog's nose, most out of citrus, sweet, sour, and a natural scent. I became interested in this topic because I wanted to do something on animals so I could learn more about them and understand their ways more. Basically, to do this project, I set up a fence-like area and put the samples evenly spaced apart in the designated area. For my case, my designated area was my garage, which is through that door. And I just put up some fence, uh, fence around the whole surrounding. Then I let one dog at a time and recorded the time spent at each sample. I recorded I repeated the same procedure for each of the other three dogs, but I allowed a 30 minute time span between the dogs so they weren't distracted by each other's scent because this could cause a disruption in my experiment. My conclusion is that the sweet scent had the most appeal more than the other scents, and I did not find any errors or problems, which was good. Next time though, I would have included more dogs and I would have allowed a lot more time to get a better amount of research data. My project can help others determ determine how sensitive and particular their dog's sense of smell is. It can also help by helping us know which types of foods dogs enjoy and which ones they don't enjoy. Now here's my chart that I prepared. Um, I did four dogs and each one had their own column and row. So this one's the natural scent and they did not pay attention to it at all. I have a theory for this though. I think they did not pay attention to this because one, they go outside a lot because we always let our dogs out. and. We also walk them and play outside with them. So I think they're so used to that smell that they don't really register it. And the sec, so I go back to my first sample, the first dog, and it, for this first column, it's citrus. And for citrus, I used a grapefruit. So the first dog, it turned away. The second dog, it also turned away. The third dog, there was little attention, and for the fourth dog, it had the most attention. And for the sweet ones, I included two different types of sweet because, you know, there are different types of sweetness. So I, choose, I chose a really sweet one and then a not so sweet, but it was still sweet. So the not so sweet, but still sweet was a banana. So for the first dog, it was the second most liked. And the second dog, it had the more, most attention, but not the most. Like, it had more attention than most. And the third dog, it paid no attention. And the fourth dog, it also paid no attention. The, sweet, the second sweet was a watermelon. I cut this up into small pieces and put this into a container. The first dog, it had liked the most. It sniffed it the longest. Uh, the second top second dog, it also had the most attention. The third dog, it paid little t attention. And the fourth dog, it paid a little attention. Now the fourth one, this fourth column, sour, I used pickle spears. The first dog, it, spent, it turned away. The second dog, little to no attention. The third dog, it had the most attention and it went back for another whiff of it. The fourth dog, it had little to no attention. And that was my data. Thank you.